Hey there guys, Mark here back with another video. So today we're going to be having a look at the Arduino IDE, which stands for Integrated Development Environment. This is where we're going to be uploading all of our programs and today we're just going to be navigating it, giving you a real feel of how to navigate it clearly and know where everything is located in the Arduino IDE. We're also going to be uploading our first program as a bonus. Now, I don't expect any of you to actually understand the programming language quite yet, but this is just going to be a nice way of testing your Arduino and see if it's working. So without any further hesitation, let's get straight into it. Okay, so let's go ahead and go download the Arduino IDE because you can't really do anything without having it installed on our computer. So first things first, we're going to go to our Chrome browser. You can use whatever you're using. So if you're using, let's say, Mac, for instance, you can go to Safari. Uh, you can even use Edge. It doesn't really matter. Just make sure you have some sort of browser and you can open that up and just type in Arduino IDE. And let's search for there. So over here, you can see we have the Arduino IDE. It's going to be www.arduino.cc software. So this is the link that we want to go to. And let's just accept these cookies. And over here, you can see on the right side, we have download options. Now, these are going to be the different types of options that we have to download. Um, so I'm using Windows 10 and newer. So I'm going to click on this one. Before people are using Linux or Mac OS, you know which version of the operating system you're using. So just choose one of the correlating links to download your software from so i'm going to go ahead and download here so you'll see here we get a little pop-up don't worry about this you don't have to contribute anything we can just say just download and if you'd like to get some um, information regarding arduino from them um, then you can enter your email here for the newsletters but i would recommend just saying download so after i've said just download you're going to see over here the top right corner in my download tab this might be different for other browsers but for chrome you'll find it here in your little download tab so in about 10 seconds when it's finished downloading you just click on that and you're going to run through the setup which i'm going to be doing with you guys just in a second so okay it's done downloading go ahead and click on that okay so as we can see here we have I agree. Now I'm just going to agree here. Um, only for me, I generally set it to anyone can use it, which is running through the normal installation process. So over here, yes, I agree. And we just install it. Just select your file path you'd like to install it to. Okay, great. Now that we have finished our setup, we can tick this box that says run the Arduino IDE and we can go ahead and open it. So after you've done downloading and run through the installation process, your Arduino IDE should look something like this. As you can see here, there's a lot of things that will be downloaded and just say yes to everything that pops up. Make sure that if you have the Arduino IDE downloaded from a prior Arduino experience, do make sure that you are on version 2.3 or higher. This is going to be very important as you're going to be following along on my version which is going to be based on the newest version of the arduino ide it refers to a program that you have written in the arduino ide that is just their terminology of referring to a program it's called a sketch so whenever someone refers to a sketch on any tutorial just know they are talking about the arduino program over here at file we have a few options here now i'm pretty sure most of you will know what all of these does uh, let's say for instance new sketch creates creates a new sketch open opens one of your previous sketches that you've made uh, open recent you can see around here then over here at our sketchbook we're going to see all of the sketches that we have uh, previously written and here's our examples option now here you can find multiple examples from different libraries now don't worry if you don't know what a library is let's say a library is basically a program that has been stored on a different place on your computer and you don't have to write that entire program you can go ahead and access it through pro programming but we'll have a look at that in the future then over here we have our preferences now here you can go ahead and set your Arduino. I like the dark mode because it looks very nice and you can set the zoom and font size 
and whatever you'd like. Over here, you can set where your sketches are saved to, but I would generally just leave it at uh, our documents folder right here. Now that our Arduino IDE looks cool and it's in dark mode, let's have a look at these bars on the side. So over here, we have our sketchbook. Now you can link this to the cloud. So I haven't linked it yet, but you can create an account for free and all of your sketches will be saved to the cloud, which allows you to access the, your sketchbook from different um, computers and devices. So over here, we have our board manager. Now, whenever you add a new board to the Arduino IDE, so we're using the Arduino Uno, which comes standard with the Arduino IDE. But let's say, for instance, we want to um, maybe use the ESP32. You just search it here and you can see there's the ESP32 board. We have to install that, etc. So you won't be fiddling around too much here when you're first getting started. Over here, we have the library manager. Now, the library manages where we add new libraries. Let's say, for instance, you want to use the ultrasonic sensor. So, ultrasonic sensor. So over here, we can see this guy has made a nice little library on the ultrasonic sensor. We can go here for more info and we can check out the GitHub repository. So, this is also quite new to many people. So whenever you open the GitHub repository, don't worry too much about what's happening here. Just scroll down and read what the library does, how it works, etc. So once we've completed and read it, all of these, um, the information and how to use it, you can go ahead here back to our Arduino IDE. And now that we have it installed, I'm going to go ahead and install it. Now it's installed. So we should be able to see here at file examples. Here we go. So here are examples from custom libraries. Now custom libraries refer to these libraries that you've downloaded or added externally. So here when we open the ultrasonic, we can see these few examples. So let's go for ultrasonic simple. And here are some more um, parameters on the program and information. And you can just upload this program, make sure to change your pin numbers accordingly, and it should work. So that makes it a lot easier to get your first program going, especially if you're not quite sure on how that works. So over here, this program should work from the start. And once it works, you can up update it and change it accordingly to upload your program. Now, let's go and see what these two things are for. This is the void setup and here we have the void loop. Now this is the bare minimum that you'll be that you have to have in order to actually upload a program. So when you go ahead and delete all of this, you're going to see that we're getting a lot of errors. So you can't open or can't check your program without a full uh, void setup and a void loop. But when we're doing the programming tutorial, we'll have a look at these. But these are the bare minimum. You can also find the sketch by going to examples, basics, bare minimum. And there we go. Then over here, we have a debug, which I don't really often use. Um, and over here, we have a search, which I also don't really use. Now, on the left side here, uh, on the top left, you're going to see here we have a verify button. Now, this is a very important button. It verifies our sketch and checks for any errors. So if we verify it here, you're going to see it's not giving us any red lines or any errors. But if I maybe have an error here, so let's, that's going to give us an error. You're going to see it's going to highlight the line in red and it's going to tell us that what the error actually is. So that's what the verification button does. It checks your program before uploading it to your Arduino. Over here next to it, we have an upload button. And over here, we have our board selector. But we'll have a look at that in just a moment. So our upload button verifies first, and then it uploads. You're going to see it's verifying and can't upload because we, haven't, we don't have our Arduino connected quite yet. Then here in our edit tab, we have the basics, edit, um, undo, redo, cut, copy, paste, select all, and so forth, sketch. We can upload from here as well. We can include a library from here as well. 
look we can add the zip libraries but i'll show you how to do that in just a moment and over here at tools we have a serial monitor serial plotter firmware updater etc we can also change the com port and the board that we are using here here you can see on the boards we have many different types of boards that we can select from um, but this, these are not all the boards as i've showed you here you can go ahead and add more boards whenever you find yourself using them and that's basically it those are the most important things a few other things which you won't understand yet but it's good to know where they are is the serial plotter over here and the serial monitor now the serial monitor is not going to display anything but this is a very powerful debugging tool for you to display the information on your board um, on the screen right here so let's say for instance you're taking a temperature measurement um, you don't actually know what your Arduino is reading without actually having like a screen on board But let's say that's not the case. You don't have a screen You just want to measure temperature and above 30 degrees. You want to switch a relay now you see Oops, my relay isn't switching. I don't know what's happening So from there you go and add the temperature into the serial monitor and check what the actual data is that you are reading from your Arduino to make sure that everything is working as planned and accordingly so in this case, we might have seen that the, the temperature was reading incorrectly and we had a little bit of a programming issue. So that makes troubleshooting much easier because it gives you a visual interface to see your data on your board. That's basically it for the Arduino IDE. There's not much more to it. The hard part comes in here and that's what we're going to have be having a look at next. It's going to be a full blown Arduino IDE programming tutorial where we're going to be handling functions, uh, void loop, void setup, what are these, and so much more. Now that we know how to navigate the Arduino IDE, let's go ahead and upload our first program. So I have the bare minimum in here, and my Arduino, I'm going to go and plug it in quickly. You should get a nice friendly sound when you plug in your Arduino. That means that it is connected. And over here, you're going to see it made a new COM port and it already identified it as the Arduino Uno. So I can go ahead and select that. Now we can go ahead and upload. So first, there we go. It's done uploading and you should get something like this. Thank you. Now, the problem is that our Arduino isn't doing anything because this is an empty sketch. There's nothing happening here. We don't have any programming going on in here. So what I'd like you to do is go into the file, examples, um, and over here underneath the basics, we're going to go ahead for the blink. The blink is a very basic sketch that's going to blink our onboard LED. Now we can go ahead here and check what it does. So first in our void setup over here, it sets our LED to an output. And in our void loop, we have, we set our LED on, wait one second we turn it off and we wait another second and that's basically what it's going to do it's going to be flashing an led for us uh, don't worry if you don't understand the program quite yet this is a great way of checking if your arduino is working properly and if it's uploaded properly so let's go ahead and upload the sketch and see what it does there we go avr do done thank you now we can go ahead and check our arduino and see what's happening here as we can see here, we have the little L light flashing in intervals of one second. This is exactly what we, our program uh, needed to do. And we can see that our program has uploaded successfully and that our Arduino is working as expected. Now, let's have a look at the program we've uploaded. If we change a few variables and see what our output is. When we go back to our Arduino IDE, we can go ahead here and change the delay values here to see what happens. I'm going to go ahead and change this to 200. Now this is a 200 millisecond flash. So our LED should be flashing much faster now. But yet again, you can either verify. Now the verify tells us if our sketch is all right. Seems to be good. And then we can go ahead and upload. Over here, there we go. It's been uploaded. Thank you so much for watching, guys. As I've said, you don't really need to understand anything quite yet. We just need to know where everything is located. So when I refer to it in the future, you know where to have a look at. So thank you so much for watching. Please do remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.